my people, let's give a warm Manila welcome to the beautiful and the talented Miley Cyrus. <laughs> All right, Miley Cyrus, and so yes, please take a seat. You are so beautiful. I am such a fan, and I'm going to make a complete fool out of myself today. <laughs> Yo, welcome to Manila. Actually, it's this one. It's right here. Yeah. Thanks. Welcome to Manila. How are you feeling? Good. I'm a little like thrown off just because of the time difference, but it's awesome. I went to the show this morning and saw some of the fans, so it's going to be awesome. Is this your first time? Yeah. My brother's been here before, so he told me that the crowd is awesome. We played the same place I'm playing tomorrow. How are you liking it so far? Have you been around? I haven't gotten too much time just because we got here so late last night, but mm -hmm. after this, this is my last thing today, so we're just going to go explore. My mom, the first thing she wants to do is go shopping, of course, <laughs> so I'll probably end up doing that later. All right. Okay, well, Miley, we have a, our friends from the press here, and we have a bunch of questions for you. Um, that we have in this bowl right here. Um, okay, I will pick a question and read it out and um, <laughs> feel like an answer. <laughs> All right, this question is uh, coming from an anonymous press member. Um, he says, what was your most memorable concert or gig? Um, probably playing with Joan Jett. I did, um, I was on Oprah one of her final shows and, and we played and it was Women Who Rock. So it was amazing just to be there with, you know, the, the women that have been around and that have, you know, made artists, you know, possible, women rockers possible. So that's awesome. All right. Okay, let's move on to our next question. <laughs> this question is coming from Mr. Alex. And you're going to like this. He says, what is love? What is love? <laughs> um, Love is someone that doesn't try to always give you the answers, but sometimes love is just listening, and that's something that I've learned a lot, is, is the, the thing that you need the most, is just someone to listen sometimes, and friendship has to be the core of whatever kind of love you're looking for. Just trust and honesty. Trust is our glue. I just have a, a follow-up question to that. Is there anyone in particular um, that I'm in love with? <laughs> you know, yeah. You know. Who knows? <laughs> 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 All right, let's move on to the next question. Uh, this is coming from Sire, um, Sire Arevalo, or Cine Arevalo. I, I hope I, I read it right, I'm so sorry. How do you find Manila so far? Just the fans have been amazing. I just went and did a show this morning and, and you know, saw some of the fans, and they were all super stoked. They all had their signs, and, and it's just, you know, great. I think when, when people are excited, I, and I think it helps when your first time coming from where it was that way in South America and so we're really looking forward to being here in the Philippines and then one I'll show you. So um, you have how many more stops after the Philippines? I have um, a few shows in, in Australia and then I get to go home so I've got you know some time actually when I go back home which is great but it's work hard play hard so I'm looking forward to this next you know kind of month and just getting to explore. All right okay our next question is a, a long one coming from Julian of Star Studio Magazine. You left Twitter a while back, but signed up for a new account when you started this new tour. What's changed about your tweeting style, and will you continue tweeting even after the tour ends? I think what changed was I shut I shut my Twitter off just when I was home in LA for uh, you know a few weeks after mm -hmm. South America and before coming here. I think everything is okay in, in moderation, and just knowing that. People don't have to know what I eat every day and yeah. what time I'm going to sleep and what I'm doing every second. I think it's. It's really good for artists and especially musicians just because you, you get a completely different connection with your fans and you feel like you really know them. But you don't have to tweet every single thing you're doing. You don't have to tweet about your private life because it's not private anymore and it's not personal. And, and I don't really care what someone is doing 24-7 and I don't think everyone cares what I'm doing 24-7. So I think just using it when it's that time to connect with your fans and then you stop using it when it's time to disconnect and, and just be real for a little bit. That makes so much sense. I will take that piece yeah. of advice. <laughs> and by the way, once it's deleted, there's another Twitter page that is only the deleted tweets. So something is never really deleted. So really read it like 20 times yeah. before you put it up because it's never gone forever. And I, I just think, you know, it's kind of scary when you put something on the internet, especially I just got a million followers. And so to know that a million people right away are going to read something, even something that I didn't double check, it's just you know, I think it's safer just to really reread your stuff and know that you can stand by whatever statement you make. 
That's right. So with ha having said that, will you be tweeting still after the tour? Or? As I'm working, you know, I, I've got a few things coming up right after. I have a little break just having vacation time, and I probably won't in, but whatever films I work on, whatever I'm doing, I think it's good to, when you keep your fans rolling, and also to inform them on what's going on and, and, and causes that are important to you and things going on in the world that are important to me. I use it to even, you know, people don't think of me as someone that likes to kind of get into politics or whatever, but I, I think you can you can say a lot of things and you can reach a lot of people, and, and I think that's, you know, nice to be able to share your opinion. Okay. All right. Well, we will be following you on that new Twitter account. <laughs> okay. Our next question comes from um, uh, oh, Wada, Sal Salim Wada from Odyssey. Uh, she says, "How do you deal with the fame, and do you still can you still get that alone time with your family and your friends?" I make it super important to have that, you know, and I think it's also. No matter what, you can't get, there's always going to be paparazzi, there's always going to be things like that, you know, in That's LA, true. but I think you, you make it a limit and you know that here's my limit, I have, I, I deserve respect, I am a person, and I think you just draw your boundaries and, and you know, if you respect other people and you do it in a way that, you know, it, it, it's sweet and, and, and they don't want to, you know, be mean to you or write bad things, but you just say, this is my family time, this is my friend time, and this is for me personally and for nobody else, and, and if they don't, you know, follow the rules, then then you get into some, you know, some problems. But I think just making sure you separate that and, and if you demand respect, you get it. So you're saying once you make it clear to, to the paparazzi that you know I, I'm the kind of person that don't want every bit of my life um, publicized, they right. respect that? No, yeah, yeah, totally. I think if you just get like the right the right dues, and if someone isn't respecting what you're saying, I mean, it's, it's illegal. If you're saying, don't follow me, mm -hmm. you're scaring me, it's, it's not okay. And, and also, I don't think it's, I don't love, you know, Weird, creepy dude hiding in the bushes and yeah. taking a picture of me in my bathing suit, and then someone judging me on who looks better in the same bathing suit as me. You know, it's that's stupid and, it, and it's ignorant, and it's such a waste of space. There's so many great things out there to read. You spend your time reading that. It's like I don't know. It's, I just think it's super important just to kind of block that out, especially if you're in my position because it sucks. All right. Okay. Well, we definitely have friendly press here in the Philippines, yeah. so that shouldn't be a problem for you. <laughs> Okay, our next question comes from Clara Isma Nuevo from uh, Meg Magazine. She says, at 18, you've already done a lot and traveled the world. Do you ever get tired of or stressed? Have you ever wanted to take a break from it all? You know what? I don't really get stressed in my work as much as sometimes I do. I think life in general is actually harder than what I do because constantly I'm just creating. And if, and if I'm creating, I'm happy. There's always going to be times where you don't understand, you know, why things are said about you, or you know, sometimes people just don't get it. But as an artist, that's our job to create what we love and what we want to say. And so I think life, just the silly things in life, and the things that you shouldn't sweat the small stuff. And then I tend to do that sometimes, and I have to remind myself, okay, I've dealt with so many bigger challenges. This is, it's not as important, you know what I mean? And so I guess kind of life gets me more stressed than actual work. So you've never reached like a breaking point where you said, you know what, all this is, this ain't worth it. Um, you never reach that. I don't think when when I'm performing, I just remember that feeling, and, mm -hmm. I, and I know it's worth it. And also, sometimes I just get stressed. I'm like, what am I? What am I doing with my life? Like, I know there's so much greater things that I should be doing in my life. When people think that I'm already doing the greatest thing that there can be, and that people know me, and I sell my records, and I just know there's greater things. But you have to take everything and, and say, I'm on this amazing platform. I can use this. And if I want to take time to just go do good charity work, go, you know, somewhere else I can, and I'm lucky enough I can take my family on good vacations and, and be able to shut it down for a little while. I don't feel like I have to constantly work or do things that I don't enjoy, you know, it's, I don't, I'm not a new kid moving to 